Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Match Day with Max. Well, my first piece of content was originally planned for some return of FA Cup football with Mitre. Although, as you've seen, something, uh, well, it's all kicked off tonight, hasn't it? Sabri Lamucci sacked from Nottingham Forest after just 15 months in charge, and Chris Hewton appointed faster than the 18 minutes between uh, Martin O'Neill going and Sabri being appointed. And uh, a busy, busy night, really, and a busy night ahead for lots of people talking about it. Uh, I'm joined by two brilliant people, Emily Anderson from East Midlands Today, Boris fan. Lisa Fox, Forest fan, just know it all, really, aren't you, Lisa? Um, and I was, I was actually, I just messaged you, Lisa, and you said before we came on, you, you said, "Can we do it before eight o'clock tonight? Because I want to watch the Great British." <laughs> yeah, that's you, right. I've got to get my priorities right. <laughs> oh well, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Um, Emily, we'll start with you. Do you think it was the right decision to sack Lamucci first of all? With a heavy heart, I think yes. Um, at the end of the season, the Stoke game floored every single Forest fan across the country, I think, and, and the team and Sabri Lamucci. And part of me thinks, should we have sacked him then and started afresh for the new season? Um, obviously, the last few weeks has been an absolute disaster for Forest. It's just been awful. Um, and part of me is thinking, yeah, we need to get rid of him. Let's get someone new in. But then I think we've got a brand new squad. We've got a new team of players who aren't gelling. Well, of course they're not gelling because they don't know each other yet. So should we give Sabri 10 games? But then I think if it's still not working and we're in the relegation mm -hmm. zone, we've, we're fighting a relegation battle rather than pushing for promotion. So as much as I admire and I respect Sabri, and I think he was brilliant for the club for what he did for the time he was there. Yeah, it was the right choice for me. Lisa, Emily just mentioned there, Sabri, you know, he's only had a few games and 12 new players coming to the squad. Do you think it was it was too many players coming into the squad? Do you think it was a bit of a panic buy, maybe? It's interesting, isn't it? Because I, I, I can't completely agree with every single thing that Emily said there um, and and at the end of last season you know like like you said that Emily that um, Stoke floored everybody and nobody expected that I mean you kind of expected Forrest to mess it up but you didn't expect Swans Swansea to do as well um, and yeah I mean we, we actually probably only needed three or four players to tweak the squad um, but then all these players have come in and every signing you're like god that's a really good signing that's a really good signing. And I mean, Harry Arter, he by far is my favourite so far. Um, and and yet th they aren't gelling. And he kind of came out on Saturday and um, and said that sometimes the book has to start with the players. And I mean, Sabri has made a lot of changes. Um, I think Saturday was there only three or four players that actually ended this or played in the Stoke game in that in that team. Um, so something had had got to give. Um, and every every week you kind of go, well, if we can win this one and if we can win this one or if we can get something out of this game. Um, but for whatever reason, um, I don't think Sabri completely lost the dressing room. But I think to some degree he had lost the trust of maybe the players that he looked to last season to actually push the players and, and the rest of the team. And, and, and fans not being there as well, that's not going to help the situation. Yeah, no, definitely. And not long after Forrest going to point... Uh, Chris Hewton, a manager with tons, bags of experience in the championship and a fantastic opinion, uh, a fantastic appointment in my opinion. Of course, there was a lot of shouts for Eddie Howe, uh, Sean Dyche, but we're with Chris Hewton now. What do you make of that appointment, Lisa? Um, well, he's got the second most promotions to the Premiership um, after Neil Warnock. Um, yeah. So you can't really... I mean, I, I tweeted actually yesterday and said, this is where I'm at that if Sabri's going to go, um, then we need someone that's got championship experience and, you know, knows knows what is required to get us out of this league. And that's what we've got. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, Emily I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy, actually. Um, Chris Hewton's name's been mentioned, hasn't it, for the past week or so. And being a typical pessimistic Forest fan, I thought, eh, we're not going to get him. We're going to get some random that I've never heard of. <laughs> and when I saw that he'd been appointed tonight, I'm... I'm buzzing. I'm really excited, really excited for what he can do. And I'm glad that there's this international break now because hopefully he can get with the players, get the team really ready and I hope, I really hope and pray that we can finally win a game and get on the track and, you know, get that push for promotion started properly. There we go. Onwards and upwards. Guys, thanks very much for joining me tonight. Really appreciate it on Skype again. Hopefully we'll we'll be back doing it in person mm -hmm. sometime soon whenever fans will be allowed back in. I keep saying that. But yeah, <laughs> both yeah, thanks very much. Come on, you Reds. And uh, Chris Hewton's the new forest manager. Bring it on. Brighton fan Josh, also known as uh, Fusion on YouTube, joins me now. Josh, 
big Brighton fan. You an expert, I'm going to call you tonight. Thanks for coming. me, Guy. No worries. Uh, talk to me about your actual personal thoughts of Hewton going to Forest. Do you think it's a good move? I think it's a great move. I think I said off camera just a minute ago, like, Nottingham Forest is the, is the type of club Christian will go to, you know. Is, um, you know, Nottingham Forest haven't had the best of seasons last season, obviously the last, you know, I don't know, I don't remind you of what happened last season, but, you know, for your managerial situation right now and you want to get back into the Premier League and you want to go to the Premier League, you know, this is the right manager to bring forward, you know. When he came in charge of Brighton, we were 20th. We were 20th in the championship and next season playoffs. The progression kept, what kept going and going and going. And that's why you got to give him time and uh, tell you what, Nottingham Forest is definitely the type of club and definitely the club he, um, you know, Christian should have gone to and he has gone to. So, yeah. great manager. And, and I think, Josh, as well as you were showing me off camera, you've got a good background now, but you're, you're missing one thing. I'm, I'm, I'm missing, I'm missing one piece, mate. I'm missing one piece, and it's this beauty. We look at that, Dying. Chris Hewitt. Signed right, right, by Chris Hewitt, mate. It's the yeah, the promotion season, mate. Um, yeah, no, love it. It's a great day, day to remember. And Chris Hewitt got us, you know, you know, made Brighton fans' dreams come true. How do you think the football is going to go for Forest? What kind of football is he going to bring across to us? Well, I think for, for obviously in Forest's sense, I'm not too sure how you play right now in terms of your, your style from your previous manager. But what Chris Hewitt will bring, you know, he's going to bring structure to the team, you know, from the defence to the midfield, the transitions between the defence, midfield and the attack. He's going to bring that defence stru defensive structure immediately. Once he gets a, a defensive structure sorted, He'll move on to the midfield and obviously attacking role. 4-4-2 four, four, is not the, not the normal formation he plays when he went to obviously Norwich previous to Bryson, got them to the Premier League. Um, of course, he went for the 4-4-2 four, four, option too. So, um, 100%, I'm, you know, Chris Hewitt is definitely the man to take forward. And um, uh, yeah, footballing-wise, he's going to go a bit defensive. But obviously, he scores goals. Winning the championship, we definitely scored goals. It's We're both in the Premier League, mate. That's, that's hope so, mate. Come on, Chris Hewitt, up the forest. And thanks for having me on, Max. Thank you very much. If you have enjoyed this video on Match Day Max, remember to drop it a like, share and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks very much, as always. And we'll see you probably for some FA Cup content as well.